Hi, today I have an easy question for you. I hope that most of you would be able to solve it right away. But for those of you who cannot solve it right away, I will provide explanation. So if you face such problem in the future, you would be able to solve it very easily. So here is a question. A certain species has a haploid chromosome number of 46. What is the diploid chromosome number of this species? And the correct answer would be answer E and all the rest we can cross out. And here is the explanation how to solve such problems. For example, we are humans have 46 chromosomes in our somatic cells and uh, in our germline we have two types of uh, cells that is uh, sperm that has uh, half the number of the somatic so we have 23 chromosomes in uh, sperm and also uh, the other type is egg cell in females uh, respectfully so we have here also 23 chromosomes and when these two um, cells join they would produce zygote whose chromosome number would be once again 46 and um, just through the process of the mitosis um, zygote develops in the um, multicellular organism and how we can solve this problem using this picture we told that uh, for this particular species haploid number is 46 so we just cross here and we have 46 so diploid number would be 92 and in order to solve such problems and many others in genetics uh, you just have to know numbering system for example haploid uh, means one set of chromosome and ploid means set of full set of chromosomes so also for one set stands mono it also stands for one and d stands for two three stands for 3, tetra stands for 4, penta stands for 5, hexa stands for 6, hepta 7, octa Eight, nona, nine, and deca, ten. Uh, you need just to know how to count up to ten because in mm, organisms that I know the most ploidy level is octa. So octa. Some plants are octaploid, uh, but I never heard about uh, non-aploid or decaploid. Uh, probably we can get it uh, artificially, but uh, ability to count from one to ten in Greek is enough for you uh, for the ploidy level. And also, uh, if you memorize this table, it's very useful for your chemistry class as long as genetics of course so hopefully you find this information interesting thank you for your attention please subscribe to my channel new videos almost every day goodbye